When we last saw it, every house on the street was an orphanage. Now, only one remains partly standing. The children lived here throughout the fighting. They call them the heroes of Quito. 34,000 of Quito's children have lost one or both of their parents. Muitas das crianças na na conversa diz ainda que quando dorme fica muito exaltadas, assustam-se porque sonham com as bombas a caírem e sonham mesmo com os ossos, ou sonha com o pai que já morreu, ou sonha com os irmãos. Há muitas vezes que sai do sono a gritar. E eu acho que ainda continuam mesmo afetadas com essa ação da guerra. Eu acho que eu não não sei o futuro dessas crianças. Só poderá ser seguro se por acaso nós todos nos envolvermos, ajudar essas crianças de formas a ultrapassar essa essa crise, porque senão é mesmo difícil ter um, um futuro bastante comprometido, né? Digo eu. Nem todos têm um futuro feliz, porque é difícil. Now that peace once again seems possible, the monumental task of trying to find the relatives of children who were separated from their families has begun. In a country with 70,000 amputees, this area has the highest number. Every inch of the city has to be checked for mines. Mine clearance is the highest paid job in Quito. Faced with such a huge problem, there are constant efforts to teach mine awareness. Without books, desks, chairs, or even walls, the schools have reopened. The war has robbed these children of their childhood, but their resilience is remarkable. Many children from the provinces fled to the capital, Luanda, which overflows with thousands of refugees from the fighting. They wander the streets, trying to stay alive however they can. At a refuge for homeless boys, we found some of the luckier ones. <laughs> 